you've probably thought about what you want to do with your life after school. And some of you might even have the perfect plan. But did you know that there are more jobs available in high-tech fields than there are people to fill those jobs? Here are some Skyward employees to talk about why working in a high-tech field just might be the best fit for you. I'm Robbie Hall. I am a programmer in Human Resources Group, and uh, we write programs um, to track people's times, pay them, um, do all kinds of counting for school districts. I chose to work in a high-tech job because ever since I was a kid, I've always been fascinated with technology. My siblings and I growing up would always either play video games or work on the computer, do things like that. And so going into college, I guess I never had an idea of what I wanted to do, but I had a few friends that were into programming, so I decided to give it a shot. Took my first programming class and immediately fell in love with it, and that's when I decided that's what I wanted to do with my life. I am a support specialist intern on the finance side, so I assist school district staff in navigating through Skyward's business suite, whether it's over um, a service call or WebEx or sometimes in person on site. I've always been a technology geek for as long as I can remember, um, but I actually didn't get involved in programming until high school. Uh, my, my class or my uh, school had offered a, a class or two on programming and it sounded interesting so I did it and I never looked back. The best thing about my internship is just the fact that it's such a technology savvy company as part of a high tech job. And I really like that because this industry is so different day to day and you have to keep changing if you want to you know, stay competitive. And then if you want to keep ahead you have to innovate and change and it's just so fascinating to me to be a part of that experience all that. I chose to intern in a high-tech field because um, jobs like this are really in demand today. You know, kids worry a lot about when they get out of school finding a job and uh, with a job like this I feel like I don't have to worry as much. Um, you know, technology is, I think, is the future and um, I, it's something I want to be a part of. On a daily basis we would probably go to one, to one or two meetings, pretty short meetings, where we would just discuss kind of future projects that we want to work on and plan those out well um, and also kind of communicate what we are working on and have been working on to make sure we're kind of um, not hitting any roadblocks and stuff like that. There's a good amount of, of solo programming as well as um, I would say a good amount of, of team programming as well which, which I really enjoy too. I like the fact that I can take a problem and I can solve it and at the end of the day I can go home knowing that I've I fixed something or I created something that someone needed and it didn't take me years, it didn't take me decades, it took me six and a half hours and that's, that's really rewarding. I like knowing that I'm making other people's days easier. Um, it's really nice to see customers, you know, kind of give you that sigh of relief once you help them with something. It's probably the most satisfying part. Just figuring out the, the best way to do things and just making customers happy, you know, when, when you actually get to see your product being used by schools and, you know, I'm a parent, so I get to use Family Access. And that's cool because, you know, I was part of Family Access development, so it's kind of neat to, to see something that you created in, in the real world and you're actually using it. There's, there's big goals, there's big things that Skyward wants to do. And if they do, if this company does nothing else, except for have big ideas, that, that's exciting to work for. I, I definitely think that girls can be very good at this profession. Um, the female programmers at Skyward are fantastic. Um, there isn't anything that they can't do that a male programmer at Skyward can do. And you know, in certain areas they might be even better. So I think, I think that they should not be intimidated at all. The best thing about it is it's so empowering. Even at 13 years old, um, you know, in a couple years, kids are going to start thinking about where am I going to go to college, what am I going to want to do, start thinking about that in my career. Well, you learn how to code when you're 11 years old or 12 years old, 
those decisions later on in high school are going to be a lot less stressful because I already have this skill set. I can go to college, get that rounded off, or do whatever I want, and regardless, I'm going to have opportunities. To know that at the end of the day, even the smallest changes you're making to the program, it's going to be it's going to be used by you know possibly thousands of districts, which is which is really cool. I think that all kids really should at least try to code, at least try to learn. Um, it opens up so many doors. Once you have that skill, there's always going to be opportunity for you.